Okay, good evening, everyone. My name is Tom Gowdy. I hold the office of the Secretary of State for the United States of America. And this evening, I'd like to introduce the people behind the scenes. Um, there's a lot of people that run this government and you really never get to hear from them. So what I'd like to do is start off by introducing them. Um, first of all, we have from the Department of State, Howard Walker. We also have the governor, John Folks. We have the chief judge, Kevin Lloyd Lakes. We have as department of the registrar, Mickey. We also have Todd as a general postmaster, Trent as one of the judges in the general postmaster council, Peter Nickel as well as part of the general postmaster council. We have, let's see, Cheryl Weicker, who is part of the bank. Actually, um, Howard Walker is also part of the bank. We also have part of the Continental Army here. Um, which would be Jay and Ishmael. And let's see, we have Jenna Anderson, who's part of the ANU. Uh, William James Wright is also part of the ANU. And let's see, I'm trying to go through the whole list here. We have Adam who's on board with us here and we have Jackie Johnson who's part of the whole thing as well. And hey, Tom. <clears throat> yep. Uh, Thomas Rufo and Adam Fox also part of the Continental Army. All right, thank you. I'm not sure of everyone that's here so I'm just trying to go through the list as best I can. We also have Sandy who's part of the, uh, the whole deal here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have, um, first of all, I'd like to have the governor, John Folks, introduce himself. And if you don't mind, John, please. Once again, John Folks. John. All right, I guess I'll come back to John. Um, How was that, Tom? <laughs> I, I'd like you to introduce yourself, John, please. Oh, that's me. <laughs> this is John, John Harold Folks holding office of the governor. And John, how long have you been here? Well, I first signed the 101 form in 2010. Signed it the second time and took my oath as uh, American National in uh, 2011. And I've been in, in and out of the governor's office ever since. Yeah, I can attest to that. <laughs> Thank you, John. Part of it was by, by election, part of it was by objection, filling in for somebody else when they screwed up and had, and had to leave, all kinds of things. But it's been, it's been an uphill battle all the way. Go ahead, Tom. All right, thank you, John. Howard, you're next. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Howard Walker holding the office of the Department of the State for the Government of the United States of America, 1781 to present. Um, my duties are to deal with foreigners, 
Uh, also, I am in uh, my responsibilities is to get our currency um, moving uh, as the bank manager. Um, and uh, I also hold a international notary position for our documents in the government. Okay, and Cheryl Weiger, please. Hello, I am General Postmaster and Membership Accounts Manager of the GPOD3, the bank. And uh, I've been here since what, 2012? Any questions, just throw them at me. And when I can't answer them, I go to Howard. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. We also have uh, Kevin Lloyd Lakes, Chief Judge. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Kevin Lloyd Lakes, and I hold the office of Chief Judge for the General Postmaster Council. I declared residency in 2012, became a doc documented American national in 2012 as well, and then was elected into the General Postmaster Council in 2014, when I also became a General Postmaster. Uh, the judicial branch of the government for the United States of America is outlined then in our foundational document, which is our constitution, which is the Articles of Confederation as amended. And each of these, uh, our foundational documents are, are online in the National Great Registry. And back to you, Tom. Thank you, Kevin. I'm gonna have you um, do the uh, Northwest Ordinance when we get to it, okay? If you don't mind. I will do my best. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. And I'd also like to introduce Mickey. And Mickey, I, I can't remember. Your, oh, Formanac. Mickey Formanac. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Hello, everyone. My name is Mickey Formanac, and I came to be an American National in um, 2018, May of 2018. I became a GPM in 2020. I am the assistant to the registrar. I help her with various duties. Uh, that's where I began. And I'm also the admin for HRTI, which is our Human Rights Tribunal. And I'm also the DOT person for the government side of everything. And those are all of my duties. And it's been a lot of fun being here, but it is a lot of work. I can attest to that. Thank you, Mickey. And we have now Peter Nickel. Greetings. This is uh, Peter Nickel. Um, been here since late 16, uh, declared residency at American National in 2017 and became a general postmaster the following year. Uh, I've been assigned uh, duties as a judge, international notary, um, right now also within the bank and loans department. And I um, appreciate working with everyone here. Um, anyone coming in has, uh, has been challenging. Um, it's been a great gift and a learning experience and it's a great place to stay busy. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Peter. And now we have Todd. Lucy Todd. Todd. You are. 
Bueller. Yeah, I feel like that sometimes. All right. We'll have to skip Todd for now. Trent, please. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Trent Winsley Sailor. I uh, was an American national uh, in early 2018 uh, after covering all of the T Rose shows in the fall of 2017, uh, most of them three times a piece. Uh, gave me a really good foundational understanding of where the arrow was headed. I wasn't running from anything. I was looking for something. And um, uh, what I was doing at the time just was not fulfilling. Didn't, didn't feel as though I had, I had reached the final grade that I was looking for. So um, I came in here this group of interesting people we had a coup to deal with right away that was interesting um but one of the one of the guys that cued me into this uh actually was uh one of the instigators of the coup or part of part of the instigation of the coup so um it was a rough time so you always you always have tumultuous things that come your way but when you realize where you're supposed to be you don't let anything get in your way. So the interesting thing I'll tell you about this group of people, uh, as far as the uh, general postmasters, of which I'm one, uh, in uh, social compact with, these people have got your back. And when they say it, they mean it. And uh, that's one thing I can tell you about this government. We're not here to screw people over. We're here to guard each other. And we do that. So um, in sharing that, uh, I also hold down the position of uh, one of the judges and the uh, general uh, uh, general um, counsel. I'm one of the international notary witnesses, special witnesses, private, uh, excuse me, specific private witness um, uh, for the uh, Human Rights Tribunal International. Um, that has been probably one of the most rewarding aspects of being here is to actually see uh, paperwork go forward that implicates people of their heinous crimes, uh, their human trafficking, understanding, understanding what you understand now is uh, very fulfilling. Uh, when I, when I came and met all these people, I really felt like I had met the family that I had been searching for for a long time. Uh, years ago, I prayed for the ability to join a, P, a group of noblemen. This is 2001 when that, when that prayer went out. Um, and it only took about 16 years to find that group of people that are truly noble in character. Uh, flawed just like every other human being on the planet, but noble and uh, fallible, but uh, repenting and, and uh, asking for forgiveness. So I don't know of a greater crew of people to work with and uh, to stand guard over other people. It's an honor, but to be their slave, no, not interested. I thank you all for your time and checking us out thoroughly. Uh, I've not been any part of Beyond the Constitution until tonight, where I just signed in uh, according to the invitation. So I, I really don't know what you've been up to, what you've studied. Um, but this, this group of people that stand around you to help you, uh, I really believe you're going to get your feet wet the right way. There's nobody here that has an ambition to fool you, to lie to you, or deceive you. Everybody here is here because they are under their own self-direction. And they're here for a reason. So um, that's a very comforting thing. Now, I can tell you that, and you can all yell bullshit, but I'm telling you. Everybody's here to see you 
blossom into whatever it is you're supposed to be. We're not here to do it for you, but we'll help you if you'll help yourself. And I'll yield the floor. Okay, that introduces all the general postmasters, the people who work with Keith Livingway, who is the voice of the T. Rowe Show. If anyone ever tells you that Keith is the only guy doing all of this, they're absolutely wrong. Keith is not a dictator. If he were, he's a very lousy one because we wouldn't be doing anything for a dictator. So I want that to be well known. I want it to be known also that the people that I work with are the best people I've ever met in my life. And the best people I've ever had the pleasure to meet. Now, you can go to any other group you want, but they don't have your back like we do. If you're willing to work for it, we will teach you and we will propel you forward. If you're not willing to work for it, we really don't want to give you all of our time. We've got a lot of things to do here. We're trying to rebuild the country. And if people get in the way and people do all these other things that they do, well, it gets a to be a problem when you're trying to build a country now, doesn't it? So if you have the self-determination and you have the stamina and the desire to make things change, this is the place to be. And it's entirely up to you. Well, that concludes the General Postmasters. I'm going to now move on to the Continental Army. And Jay, you have the floor. Thank you, Tom. Uh, this is Jay Von Spreck. Uh, I've been assigned to phase one uh, development, which is planning and development for the Continental Army. And we've assembled um, a team of, uh, you know, experienced engineers and planners, and some of them are on the call with me tonight. Um, and you'll hear a little bit from them as well. Uh, so I wanted to kind of start by saying that we're still in the development phase. However, uh, we have a really good uh, plan to build a command structure for the Continental Army. We're not building a freestanding army. Uh, however, at the same time, while we're building the structure, um, we also have civilians uh, working at the state level to organize the county, the state, the city, the town uh, militias, which in essence are civilians and neighbors helping neighbors. And if there is uh, an event that happens or some sort of uh, issue, uh, if there's a declaration of war uh, by the government, then of course the militia can be called in uh, in in those times of crisis. So it's being recorded. So uh, what I'd like to do is uh, maybe uh, have Ish talk a little bit because one of our first projects is to assist in settling the states. Uh, and I want to have Ish cover a little bit about what that initiative is, but that's one of our first missions is to help settle the counties and states. So Ish, uh, if you want to cover that a little bit, that'd be great. Thank you, Jay, for that uh, introduction. My name is Ismael Ortega. Uh, I have been... Uh, here with the the United States of America since March of this year. Um, and I am also, I'm gonna echo some of the, 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 the greetings and such and, and the, you, you can never work with a better bunch of people. Um, and I have uh, just a little bit of my background. I started my um, 
I started in law enforcement back in 1981, and I worked uh, from 1981 to 1996 as a police officer in the state of Arizona and a, and a short stint in the state of Tennessee as well. Uh, also, um, uh, currently, I am a truck driver right now. Uh, actually, right now, I'm pulled over the side of the road um, and uh, speaking to you all. And it is an honor to speak to you. Um, getting to the point at hand, um, we here in the Continental Ar Army in a very uh, unique position as we can bring as we bring in members, um, just short uh, a short little overview of how the process works for the states. In the state of Arizona, currently we are working on uh, our process uh, in 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 settling our county. But before you settle the county, um, the, and I'm sure you're going to hear a lot of this is that we must come into social compact. And one of the uh, uh, first things we're doing is, is settling, um, gathering uh, all of us to sign the social compact. Now, once the social compact is signed uh, by those that are present, this now makes us a body politic. And as a body politic, now that we can go and uh, convene uh, the county and begin the uh, assembly process on the county level. Once um, th those issues are um, settled, then you begin to work towards your state assembly. And as you work in the state assembly, you would send uh, on the county level, you would send representatives from the county to the state in order to work out the state constitution. Um, there are, I have to I reiterate, there are a lot of movie parts in this. Uh, but as you as you begin the process, and it, it is learn as you go, and but it's very exciting. I'm I'm glad to be a part of it, and glad to be a part of the Continental Army, and hopes that I can serve uh, this country, uh, and serve others as well. So I yield the floor. Uh, Thomas Rufo, uh, can you uh, cover a little bit about yourself and? Uh, maybe a little bit about the structure that we're starting off with here. You're on mute, Thomas. How's that? Good to go. All right. All right. I've been, uh, <clears throat> I'm a former NCO in combat arms, right, in the military. And I came into this uh, through a lot of years of research. And I asked a question one time, what's wrong? And I found out. And that's why I'm here. Now, what we're going to do, or what we're ho hopefully to do, is to structure this as a recruiting measure to get people involved. Now, so I'm, we put a book together, we're putting a book together and a structure of the organization and how it should work. And hopefully, and I'm sure that it's gonna happen, it's gonna work. Now, we just need assistance and bodies. So, and I gotta take these headsets off because I'm hearing myself talk to myself and I don't like that. So what we're doing is structuring it on the, from the bottom up, not from the top down. And that's really the whole, the whole gist of the whole thing is really starting it. Now, for me, if I look at it eh, in a different way is like, I know what it is to camp on a reverse slope and have it rain on you all night long, sitting on a steel pot. And, and, the, and the first thing in the morning you have to do is wake up and get it all going again. So, well, I don't know, that's about it. 
I hope I made some sense. Thank you, Thomas. And, and one last thing I'll add is that um, there's a need, just like there's a need in, in other areas for everyone to assist, even at the civilian level, if you do not have military experience, keep in mind in time of uh, crisis or emergency that the word militia in essence means neighbors helping neighbors in reality. So in a time of crisis, everyone can assist. In fact, talking to a lot of people, they believe that, you know, uh, militia could even be a horse. It offers transportation, a cow, it provides, you know, milk. Uh, it's all part of being a, a militia. The, the grandma can, can cook and, and the, the, the young boys can, can load magazines in the event of that type of a crisis. But this is not, um, uh, there's a lot of things that, that, that we do primarily, engineers and peacekeepers. Uh, and uh, we, we really need some assistance for other people to come out and help in any way, whether at the state level, the county level, or uh, with, the, with, with that structure or within the command structure of uh, the Continental Army itself. So with that, um, thank you very much and feel free to visit our website, continental.army, and you'll find the uh, new member there and an oath as well. You'll find the application to become a member and learn more about us. And uh, we hope you visit that, continental.army. And with that, thank you very much for your time and I'll turn it back to Tom. Okay, next up we have William James Wright. He is part of the ANU and William, will you please take the floor? Good evening, everyone. This is William James Wright V and I hold the office of treasurer for the Great Council of the American National Union of the United States of America. Um, I joined, uh, my story is a little, uh, you know, everybody's got their story. I, I was driving truck as well, um, on the road, you know, I had about 14 hours a day, so I had plenty of time on my hands and instead of just blaring the music, um, kind of came across this document and it was an indictment. Um, that was filed for Bill Gates and and Fauci and all them. And this was around the time of me kind of ju jumping on the Trump train, right? Uh, to later realize that that was a total deception. Um, but it led me to where I am now, which is all part of the plan. So I uh, I called the number that was actually on that document. And it was Mr. Tom Gowdy, um, our secretary's number. And it was kind of late at night. So I guess I kind of figured he might not answer. But I got a call back the next day and spoke for about 30 minutes. And uh, what he told me was pretty, pretty telling, uh, pretty eye-opening. Um, he sent me some links to... The T. Rowe Show and and uh, the journey to independence is what I started with, and uh, I worked my way up the list. You know, it was about two hundred and thirty-seven videos or so later, and uh, I uh, like Tr like Trent said, I watched them a few times um, each. And like I said, I had plenty of time driving that. Uh, you muted yourself. Every video I watched, I, I, uh, you know, I was sending, sending in the information. I was uh, declared my residency, and then uh, about six months later, I took my oath to be an American national. Um, and it's been about a year now, and I. I'm, I'm highly, great, highly grateful for all the work that these people have put in. And uh, I can only hope that I'm, I'm working to do my part. Um, and every day is a learning experience. 
Um, and I, I was first told when I got here that if you're, if you're running away from something, this isn't going to work out. If you're running towards something, then, then you're going to find that it's going to work out for you. Um, Self-determination. Uh, you know, we, we will help you if, you, if you're showing initiative, um, but we're not going to hold your hand, you know. Uh, we're adults here, and you got to put the right for, foot forward. So, um, again, I, I'm not driving truck on the road anymore. I'm back local, so I have a little bit more time to partake. But at that time, that, that was the time I needed to study and learn, and, and I've learned quite a bit. And, now I'm on to the next journey here. Um, so I'll, I'll leave with that. I, I yield the floor. Okay, Carolyn and Marshall, I see that you dropped in. Could you please say something about yourselves? Marshall, Carolyn. Yeah, this is Marshall Revel and Rankenberger. Been a general postmaster for a while. Um, been involved in the Human Rights Defenders, also with the Postal Police Department. With that, we do investigations for the postmasters on incidents that happen that they need help with. Um, the chief is Corey Palmerton. Um, I help him whenever I can. Hi, yep, this is Carolyn. Ditto to what he said. Um, we wish we could help more, but we're kind of off grid, and so we're kind of limited on uh, internet data, but if anybody needs anybody any help, we'll try and help when and where we can. Glad to be here. Okay, thank you. Um, Frederick Sykes. Hi, this is Frederick Sykes, um, Deputy Chair for the ANU. Um, pretty much uh, about a year and a half ago, I was just um, <clears throat> looking for something in life. Um, I knew that what was going on in this world was, was not right. Um, and I started going down these different trails and uh, ended up on a Family Guardian um, website and, and uh, was doing a lot of research and um, just knew that I, I wanted to be free. I, I didn't want to be a part of, you know, all the craziness that was going on the U.S. I knew it was, you know, a corporation. Um, I knew there was something wrong there. Um, studied about the, you know, Illuminati and, and um, a lot of history and just all the crazy stuff that was going on. And um, I think it was, uh, was listening to Sarah Westall show and, and, um, one of the guests she had on mentioned the country, the United States of America. And so I started doing some research and uh, um, got in listening to the T row shows. And um, one day I decided I'd make the phone call. And I, I called and, and uh, Tom called me back. And uh, we talked for probably about 30 minutes. I was on a job site um, working. And uh, so from then on, I just started listening to lots and lots of T-Row shows. I started at number one and, and pretty much just, just the information was incredible. And um, I mean, I'm not running from anything. I was looking for something. And um, as it progressed, I, I did my resident decoration was kind of back before they had uh, these calls and stuff. So everything was kind of had to do it all myself. Um, but I got it done. It all worked out. I took my oath in March of 2020. And uh, 
didn't really know how to get involved. And uh, finally, I, I talked to Keith a couple of times and um, he pointed me in the right direction. And uh, here I am, and I've enjoyed every minute of it and looking forward to the future. Um, it's, it's, it's just a wonderful experience. Really enjoyed. I tell a lot of people about it, and everyone seems to be, especially in these times, looking for something. I notice everyone's looking for something. They know something's wrong. And I try to, you know, point them in this direction, or at least get them to, you know, listen to a couple of shows or some T-Row shows or information I send them to uh, maybe answer some questions for them. Um, everybody's busy, I notice, and they keep everyone divided, it seems. But uh, once in a while, one gets through, you know, and it works out. But me, for my, me myself, I believe that I was led here by divine providence. Um, is this something I've been looking for for a long time? And, and uh, I feel like I've, I've found it. And with that, I yield the floor. Okay, we have some newcomers here as well. Adam, would you like to say anything? Hey, Tom, I can't right now. I got pulled over by DOT. I'm getting an inspection done right now. Okay, all right, no problem, man. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. We have Jason. Jason, would you like to say something? Uh, just that uh, it's a good place. Yeah, just, uh, you know, just uh, you know, different things. But uh, yeah, I found out the truth when I got here, so everything's been good. You know, that's about it. Looking for. Okay, Sandy, you. I know you have something to say, Sandy. Uh, thank you for everybody for all of your experiences. Um. I'm new, new. Uh, started listening uh, probably January, February, February March um, to the T-Rows. Um, I, I am the, the same as uh, William. I, I saw those um, court jackets in a, in a um, group and uh, I had to find out what that was. I, I um, yeah, started li listening to the T Rose, which is, you know, um, one thing I would will say is that at some point, when you start listening, you might hear something. Uh, yeah. We'll put it this way: I used to say this gen this young younger generation is all being turned into communists, and then you realize that actually, my gener our generation, which I I was born in '66, so. Uh, you know, a lot of that stuff was in our education too. So, you know, you might you might have a little freak out, and um, and then you're gonna just have to step back and, and adjust your thinking a little bit, and that's that's pretty normal, I would think. Uh, also, I had my conversation with Tom, which it uh, was a you know just like one of those conversations where you talk to somebody and you feel like you know them all, all your life. Um, and then uh, now it's just, an, still every day is something new, learning something new. Um, I, I personally feel like it's taking me a long time to understand everything. Um, but, um, you know, just gotta keep at it. Don't give up and, um, Work, work along with others and, um, you know, secure a future and um, uh, I'll leave it there. Thanks. Thank you, Sandy. All right, um, I'm gonna also call on Greg and Jackie Johnson. Can you please say something? All right, well, Greg just stepped out. He'll be back in a minute, but... Um... I, I started my journey after 9-11 um, trying to figure things out and a lot of the stuff I found out I didn't like 
And then it was like, okay, where do I go from here? And of course I had, um, I had somebody from the government over there <laughs> who happens to be my brother telling me about all of the uh, things having to do with the United States of America and being the sister, it's hard to comprehend all that stuff. Um, but eventually it started clicking. And so I've only, I've been here since, I think, I think I started making the turnaround in January and I, my husband and I are in the process of um, our residency, which is coming up soon. And um, we're, we're excited about that. And um, now I'm just trying to figure out where I fit in, um, trying to figure out what, you know, what I'm going to do to, to work, to be able to better my, you know, my grandkids lives, at least if, um, if not my children's also, but um, just looking towards more than just me, you know, it's not just about me, myself, it's about the next generations and being able to um, point them in the right direction and give them some answers to uh, questions that they, they have. So that's, that's about it. So it's, it's a journey and um, I think it's a good journey to be on because at least now it is a solution to what's going on. Um, finding out that you're in the matrix and being able to get out of it. So I yield. And we also have Jen. Jen, would you like to say something, please? Is this Jen or Jenna? <laughs> um, Hello, this is Jennifer Renov. I am secretary for the Great Council of the American National Union. Um, I found this place about nine months, nine months ago. Um, someone posted an invite link to a call, to a newbie call um, in a people's rights chat. And I was compelled to go on the call. Um, I went on the call and there was Tom. Um, teaching about how the constitution is not for us. And I have not left this place since. <laughs> it's been a, um, a daily learning experience. I, I don't think I've learned this much in all of my education um, as I have this these past nine months. Um, I feel like I've gained a family these past nine months. The most amazing, hardworking, dedicated people I've ever met and I am so grateful for all of them. Um, they've taught me self-governance, um, questioning things and helping me to understand all of the lies that we have been raised to believe is truth. Um, and uh, I'm just so grateful to be here. Um, I do a lot of um, assisting in the newbie calls and um, resident declaration classes. So if you are wanting to proceed, you will be working with me. Um, and with that, I yield. I'd like to call on Jenna, please. Jenna Anderson. Hello. Hello. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Go ahead, Jenna. Okay. Sorry. I had to get my microphone working. Um, my story is actually a little bit different. Um, we were led here for some reason. Um, my husband had actually gotten fired from his job. Um, he made a comment on Facebook and he was targeted by Black Lives Matter. And uh, long story short, the company had told him 
there is no freedom of speech in corporate America. So his mind started going and uh, a friend of his is actually an American national and he had said something to him uh, five, six years back and he blew it off as him being a crazy weirdo. And uh, it popped in his head and I told him to check into it. So he called his buddy up. We started watching T. Rowe shows. And um, shortly after we signed our resident declaration, it's been a, actually about a year ago today around here. Um, I remember actually being on a call, I believe it was either with Tom or um, John Fultz. And I had told them shortly after I was talking to them. I was in my kitchen just bawling on my knees because I felt like I was home for the first time in my entire life. And it was just one of the most amazing experiences finding home and being a part of such a wonderful group of people who really have each other's back and aren't afraid to put the truth out. Um, see, and then this past March is when I did my American National um, Oath and Affirmation. Uh, my husband, Brandon, is actually the chairman for the ANU. Um, he has had some trouble tonight, so hopefully he should show up here pretty soon. Um, and with that, I yield to the floor. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else here that would like to talk at the moment. Uh, did I miss I anyone? Excuse me. I would. I would. Okay, Grant. Trent, go ahead. I, I know I already took plenty of time on the floor, but. I'd like to make this one comment. I think it's the most helpful comment that I received from Keith, from John, from somebody else, Stu, uh, one of our past uh, GPMs. All three of them said one thing to me. They said, you need to come here, you need to sit down and you need to listen. Put everything that you think you know aside and listen. And I got I got the witness of two or three. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to listen. I'm not going to try and, you know, lead conversation. I'm not going to try and show them how smart I am, you know, on and on and on it goes. So that proved to be the best advice walking in the door I could ever expect. Uh, because most of you have probably studied things. Most of you probably know stuff, knowledge, screwed up knowledge, other people's lies and twists. You've probably paid for the t-shirt along with the $800 identifications and who knows what else you got stuck into. So. I'm going to tell you, if you want to come here and be successful, please come here. Please be the best student you can be. Please sit down and shut up and listen. And let the spirit, let, let that truth come into you. And don't resist it, but, but, but test it. And uh, that's the best advice I can give you. Everybody else that comes here, and starts to starts trying to push their weight around and, and and they start causing problems. And we've had some bad examples lately. So um, just let it happen. Please, please come and plan to stay. That's all I have to say. Lord's open. Thank you, Trent. I'm um I'm gonna stop this recording soon, but I want you to understand that there's a lot of people here who have worked very hard to get to where we are today. 
I'm going to introduce you to a little bit more, but I want you to understand that it's not just Keith that does this. It's all of us. And when you go against one of us, you go against all of us because we're here as a unit and we defend those around us. That's how tight we are. And if you want to be part of that, this is the place to be. I know about Anna and how she sets up her assemblies. I know how she does all that stuff. I know about all of these other gurus that tell you, you can do this and you can do that, but they can't show you any proof of what they do. I've never heard from them talk in this manner, but these people here have just talked to you. And these are good people, the best people I've ever worked with in my life. And I'll repeat that again. So I want to stop the recording at this time. This is going to go out there and thank you for listening to that part of it.